our live. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hold on, let me pretend I'm working. Good morning. Oh, we actually going to talk. What are we talking about, Emily? So we're talking today about what's coming up with our social media. <laughs> Am I doing rockets or not? Explosions. Do. Between now and the first of April. Now. Oh. Unless you've been under a rock and you've been following us a little bit, you'll know that we are currently talking a lot about the digital circus. Well, I have... The digital circus. All oh, right. The digital circus. Live! Now, on, the problem it. is, my dad was here this morning, uh, Care Bubble, and, and he said, what's this digital circus live you've just mentioned? I've not heard you mention it. And we're like, Dad, you, you're telling... If you haven't seen us mention it online, then we need to talk about it more. So we're talking about he the digital circus. He's yeah. He doesn't spend his entire life on Instagram, Facebook and LinkedIn. No, he does. No, he does. Yeah, and that's the thing. Um, so last night put a post out and that was uh, introducing the next couple of weeks. We'll be launching tickets on the 1st of April. <laughs> there you go, that's better. And what we want to do between now and the 1st of April is give you as much detail as possible to let you know all the amazing things that will be happening in the big top in the digital circus right side. let's back up this is why you're going to want to be oh i'm off camera this is why you're going to want to be there okay so the digital circus live is an online event it's not just for the members of the digital circus it's for the public anyone in the world can turn up mm. what and um we have got for you six amazing keynote speakers, inspiring, motivating, and delivering some amazing learning for everyone who turns up. We've got eight workshops, interactive workshops, where people are gonna show you how to actually grow online. We're covering everything from podcasting to YouTubing to branding. I'm just trying to think of some of the other ones off the top of my head. Some, some lady called Emily's doing one about Google, and these are interactive workshops. We then have a networking area full of you. So when you go in there, you go, yes, I'm ready to network. And you click and it pairs you up with someone and you have a chat. And then we have the exhibition hall, which is gonna be well, like a trade hall really, but full of amazing businesses showing how fantastic they are. And there is gonna be so much to do there as a participant. But also, if you wanted to be an exhibitor or a sponsor of the event, do get in touch, because there's just as much opportunity there for you. I know I'm on a rant now. Morning, uh, Joanne and Laura is still here. Um, the tagline Shush. for the event. Let me have some words as well, please. Uh, but I'm on a roll. <sighs> no, what's the tagline for the event? I, I was going on what else going on. But oh, no, the tagline for the event is a celebration of digital visibility, business growth and opportunity. And this is so important to us because digital visibility, that's what we're all about. And then business growth and opportunity is what comes when you grow your digital visibility, you grow your business and opportunities come along. And that's why the tagline for the event is those three things specifically. Emily, I'm sorry, go. We are also, we were, we were very, very, very mindful that we wanted to have originally, obviously we said this before, a physical event and we can't do that, that's a shame, never mind. Um, but we wanted to make as much of it as possible feel like you're at a physical event. So as well as all the amazing speakers, as well as all the amazing workshops and some of the interactive work, there are two more interactive workshops, I would say, for you to get involved in the afternoon. Uh, we are also bringing you two options. If you wanted to get your lunch brought to you for the day, like you would at a conference or at any exhibition, you could go and get up from here from, from a we said the festival the other day what do you like and it's always about the food so we have paired up what have we got emily we paired up with two catering um people who are amazing businesses that we've had the pleasure of working with over the last few years and they will be doing some postable lunch options that can arrive on the on the day of the, of the actual event itself so you can take part like like the rest of us have a bit of lunch with us and, as though you're at the exhibition yeah and it's really exciting because both of these businesses are traditional face-to-face -face businesses yeah. one uh, we can talk about them i think it's all confirmed one is a mobile pizza uh, wa wagon that used to do weddings and and during lockdown grew her business online and now does something called Fox in a Box where you get this charcuterie box delivered yeah. to your house so you can eat lunch and the other one is an um, afternoon tea company who do UK wide next day delivery of an afternoon tea. But this was a special one. This is going to be a yellow afternoon She's tea. She's themed a afternoon tea, especially for us in the event, but we're super excited, uh, super proud. Yeah. The great, thing, the, the great thing about um, the event and who we've got lined up is that they are all really, really 
kick-ass amazing businesses. Booyah! And not Can just, I do that? We just did. Yeah, sorry. Not sorry. just businesses who are theory-based or have, you know, talk, talking the talk. They are doing it for themselves right now. We have some product-based businesses. We have face-to-face -face service businesses who've managed to move themselves into an online space. They are all just like you and me and you and Alan. Well, no one's quite like it. Uh, Joanne has written, love the sound of that, but is Port Talbot out of the question? Why would Port Talbot be out of the question? I believe, Joanne, please correct me if I'm wrong, that things can be delivered to Port Talbot still. I don't think that's been affected by lockdown. So as far as I know, both companies... Unless you have an argument with yeah, your hosting. Both companies are mainland United Kingdom, which is England, Scotland, Wales. Uh, and neither have said there are any issues with that. Yeah. Perfect. So, Perfect. We're really, so the, the, the next few days, today will be the first one, we're going to be drip feeding you all of our amazing speakers, introdu drip, drip, drip. introducing you to who is getting involved, what they've got to say and some of the amazing topics that they will be talking about on the day and we'll be giving you a load more information about how you can get involved if you want to get physically involved in terms of having an exhibition stand potentially or you want to know some more information then we will make sure that you have everything you possibly need to know before the 1st of April when tickets go live. Yes. And of course we will be looking after our Digital Circus members, standby members. Oh, I, don't like any of them. I know, standby members there is some stuff coming out especially for you. But it's never too late to join the Digital Circus. So if you want to come and join the Digital Circus and get involved in the Digital Circus Live, granted that's a mouthful, from this side of the uh, big top fence, where, uh, then feel free to come and join the Digital Circus. The doors are always open. And for all of both of those things, we put it all in one place now to make life easy. You just go to www.thedigitalcircus.co.uk. Yeah. So we have to go because yeah. number one, we've got to go and check on the chickens yeah. before before we have our coffee morning. I, I have to smile. I was on LinkedIn this morning and somebody was putting a post up about stop being businessy and start being more kind of yourself. And I'm thinking, is putting a post up about the chickens enough of that? Yeah. So like note to all of you, put a post up about your real life today. If you're uh, yeah, if you're not sure. Do it. I think you will find it will probably be your most successful post. My chicken one only did okay in hindsight, but um, it would still be oh, better than my, well, it still did better than my business post, but normally die a death. But I put out on, on LinkedIn, my nemesis. I will own you, LinkedIn. No, you won't. Uh, one day. Right. Should we go? Let's prepare for a coffee morning. Should we finish with a high five? Oh, why not? Hoo Right, uh, if you come into coffee, we'll see you at half ten. It's sold out this morning. We love it when it sells out. Um, if, you're, if, so, uh, if you're not coming to coffee and you're a member, we'll see you on Thursday. And if you're not a Digital Circus member and not coming to coffee, we'll see you on the socials. Bye. Bye. And now... Uh...